Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Creek where it looks like we have mail. It is summer day four. It is Saturday. Can go ahead and see. I don't think we have a battle. So there's a D rank battle, but we're now in C rank. And so our first one versus Tic Tac will be on Sunday. So uh, tomorrow, I think. Uh, but also on the day this is going up, uh, happy Easter, everyone. I, I think, I'm pretty sure that's today. So yeah, happy Easter. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, we got potato. Let's see what mail we've got. Uh, this is the blacksmith. Oh, they did fix. So I did look at the patch notes and they have fixed the letter thing. So that's good. The blacksmith is letting us know saddles are on sale. That makes it easier. We don't have to go into town. Although we probably actually should. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> Phantom, Phantom seems like he's doing well. We probably actually should go into town, though. Let's go ahead. We'll pet him. He's actually not all that hungry. Uh, but I do want to see what other saddles there are. And I do want to see what other moves there are. We just might not buy them today. Uh, we'll have to see. I want to do some training. There's also some new games. So we definitely want to check those out. Those have been added as well. And I think they should be in the game now. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get them cleaned up. And we'll head into town. And uh, we'll see you. Uh, See, see what's going on there, see what new moves we've got, and what new saddles and stuff we've got. So first things first, I do want to stop at the dojo here and just see. Now, I don't want to actually buy moves today, I don't think. I just want to see what's here. Firebolt. Ooh, that's new. So they are getting more expensive, so I do think I want to wait for them to go on sale. Damage 40, stamina 40. I think that's comparable to some of the moves that we have. And uh, it does apply burn, and it has pretty good range. We also need to keep in mind that we are starting to run out of um, we are starting to run out of, of space here. If we go over here, we can see we have 15 to 20 skills, so we got to be a little bit more cautious and maybe remove some things. So I'm just gonna look through some of the new stuff and uh, see what's fun. This one could be a good one as well because that lowers enemy defense. And if we do, like, I would like to build up a strength move set as well. So this will be one that'll be both doing damage and lowering defense. Oh, this could be an interesting one. That that might be one we want to check out at some point and see what this one does. Because uh, I bet I I bet adrenaline is. Um, kind of the uh, counterpart to exhaustion. So you use 20 stamina on this turn and then the next one costs zero. So that could be good if we're having something that costs a lot more like we look at, um, at Firebolt that costs 40 but we need time to set it up. Well, that just straight up blocks. That's kind of cool. Oh, this boosts both accuracy and strength. This is probably worth having too. Uh, we might want to replace some of ours with that eventually. I do want to train stamina more as well because that might be something that's worth having <laughs> boosted a little bit too. Oh, this is a move that got used on us last time and it does apply burn and it also lowers dex. Uh, it, doesn't, um, it doesn't do damage though is the thing. It just uh, applies burn and then lowers their dexterity, which I think I think dex counters accuracy, defense counters strength, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this raises strength and uh, applies adrenaline. That might be an even better one than the other one. Although the uh, this, I don't know exactly what adrenaline does. It probably cuts cost by half, I would reckon. Uh, but it doesn't lower the next move to zero. This could be a handy one too, because I think hidden is probably going to start coming into play. I've seen moves that I've started to apply that, so we may start to see that happening, like this one. <laughs> so moves that are starting to grant this, this may be something we need to plan to contend with, so Tornado might be another good one. I'm again waiting for a sale for these, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. Oh, that's an interesting one. That could be, that could be helpful if we have an enemy that's boosting a lot. Oh. That I'm not sure I like so much. Not not too keen on this one. I mean, using it would be well. Using it actually would kind of kind of mess up our strategy. Yeah, I'm not sure I like the prospect of facing this one. We might have to adjust our tactics. There's a lot of new moves, by the way. I haven't even shown all of them here, but there's many. Oh, what is this one? So there's so many new weird things to check out. <laughs> we may we may have some stuff to take a look at. What is after image? What is this? I keep seeing it. Yo, that one looks powerful. That one would be good for cases where we're like what we've run into in the past, where we had like three HP remaining. That might be one to keep in mind as well. Uh, but it is strength-based, and we've mostly been going for accuracy with Phantom. Alright, there's a lot of new moves that I look through. There's definitely some I'd like to come back for, but I think uh, for now we don't have the income for that. Again, I want to wait to do that for a new, um, a, a new sale to happen. But uh, yeah, I'm a little concerned by some of what we've seen here. Let's see what we've got. 
Oh, there's more, there's more saddles. Oh, hello, there's more saddles I didn't even know were a thing. Okay, so we've seen these, comfortable saddle and fancy saddle. I didn't realize some of them are still locked. Oh, they're not all rank-based. Okay, so camo, that grants hidden immunity and shield at the start of battle. Dang. Thorny deals ma uh, max HP when hit by a strength move. Goodness. So these are like battle saddles. Um, increases dexterity by 150%. That could be a good one. That increases defense. Reduces stamina costs. And those ones. Okay. I'm not sure which one I want to get now. So we'll wait on that, I think. But... Uh, We'll definitely have to keep that in mind. I didn't realize we could scroll down and see even more saddles. But let's go ahead, we'll check out. There's a lot to take a look at. It's going to be kind of a busy day. Uh, we're going to check out some of the new mini games. I think. So is this one Strength and Health? Let's, let's just try this one then. See how this goes. It takes eight hours. We'll probably try to do some accuracy training after and see how this goes. So what is this? We'll help him train. This is one of the new mini-games. Okay, hungry folks will approach to the right. They'll request ingredients. Add them by pressing the key next to the ingredient list. And then use A and D or left and right to stir the stew. Okay, um, I guess we, uh, oh, okay. Um, wants this. All right. All right, hold on. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting this. I'm getting this. All right, we got that. We got that. All right. I think I'm getting how this works. Okay. So you have to stir while it's, uh, while it's going here. Alright, oh, mushroom. He wants mushroom. Alright. That's what Phantom likes. Phantom likes mushroom. Alright, let's see. So another mushroom. Alright. There we go. Alright, another one here. I don't know how... Are we getting graded on time? Or I don't know how, how it's going to be scored. Okay, we got fish. Look at that. Alright, this sounded a lot more complicated at the beginning. I think I'm, I'm understanding it better than I thought I would. Alright, let's try that. Got some broccoli. That's an interesting thing to put in the stew. Oh, no, I put the wrong thing. Dang it. Okay, darn it. I uh, meant to... I don't know why I did that. I just did. <laughs> Alright, so we, you can't get them wrong. Let's see. I don't know how, how many are left either. I don't know. Do we have to serve ten? Oh, there we go. Okay, great. We did not get a perfect, but we did get pretty close. And no respect gained. All right, I'm just going to do one little accuracy training with Phantom real fast, and then we will uh, head off to bed. All right, so we actually have our battle today, I think. Yep, so I don't know how this is going to go. I'm a little bit skeptical, considering all those weird new status moves that we saw. But, uh, we, okay, here we go. The dojo is... Aha! Okay, so that is exactly what I wanted. So I think we're going to run back into town. We'll go ahead and get ready. We'll see how Phantom is doing. And uh, I think we'll we'll try and uh, try and hit the dojo before we have a battle, because I think we'll see if we can get some better um, some better moves for him. We'll make sure he's nice and taken care of. He is fully rested, so that's good. We'll go ahead. We'll give him a mushroom. I'm a little bit concerned by the food situation because we are like I do want to make sure we can keep his happiness up, and that is seeming to be a little bit difficult. But but we'll see. We'll see how that how that works out. We might have to buy some food, worst case scenario. I'm gonna go ahead and get him cleaned up and we'll bring him into into town and check out the dojo again before we head off to the battle. Alright, I've gone ahead and filled up our move set. We have all 20 of 20 here. And uh, we actually have more moves than we can know at a time now. So I I we most of the ones that I thought were really important ones to have. Uh, we, like, we were able to get all of those. We only had to leave two out that I don't think were going to be super important. But we're going to go ahead and see how this goes. I spent most of our money on this. So I'm really hoping it goes well. But I'm honestly not super, um... I'm not, I'm not predicting this will go super well, to be, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I have a feeling, considering how high the difficulty jump was between the previous ranks, I think we're probably going to be sitting here for a while and, uh, and having to take some time to learn, which is totally fine. Uh, nothing, nothing wrong with that. I do want to look into getting a new saddle at some point, but we'll see how that, uh, how that goes in the, the future here. We don't have the money for it right now. We do want to wait for a saddle sale again. Uh, yesterday they did have one, but uh, I, again, I just didn't know which one. Like I want to, I want to kind of solidify our strategy and pick one that I think will uh, will go along with that. It might be the ones that raise uh, defense and dexterity. We'll have to see. 
Uh, depending on if we know our opponent, we might know what attacks they tend to use. But as a whole, I'm just going to focus on getting us there and competing in the in the tournament and seeing how, how things go. So I'll see you guys there. All right, here we go. Versus Tic Tac. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Eight hours of battle. We might do some training afterwards. Tic Tac is a Hydra, it looks like. All right, so as always, I'm going to go with a very similar strategy to what we have. We're going to try and raise our accuracy with take aim, but we'll see what this guy has. Uh, I'm just going to keep trying the way that uh, the way that we usually do. Ow! This may not go so well. I am not very optimistic about this. He is burning his his uh, his stamina, <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna be enough. <sighs> oh, yep, yep, that's um. Wow, yeah, 382 health and 133 uh, or no, 368 stamina. We've got a lot of work to do, so I think I'm just gonna probably take the week off and, and focus entirely on training and not do battles at all because uh. Yeah, that um, that that sure did go poorly. <laughs> so time to time to train up a little bit more. I think um, we don't have time for an eight-hour game, but we do have time for a four-hour. So we'll try and maybe get some accuracy training in before bed, and then uh, in the morning we'll check out some of the new games again. And maybe if there's sales or anywhere, not that we have a lot of money, we might take a look at some of those too. You know, actually, I think I have a new plan. So I want to see what the sale is. There was a bouncing mailbox, but we still get we still get money from facing these guys. Our fame, I noticed on the lower one, if we tried to do these first level battles, our fame would actually go down, which I don't think is such a good thing. Uh, and of course, these will gain fame for us. But uh, these ones do give us some a lot of income. It might be worth doing the ones that are on the slightly lower rank because I was remembering... You know, I don't know for sure what Hidden does. I kind of want to see. Okay, foods are uh, half price. We don't need to worry about that. But uh, I want to see what the Hidden status effect does. And I want to see... Because I think there was... If I remember right, there was a saddle that actually grants that to us. So if it's what I think it is where you can't necessarily be targeted, that could be a great way of buying time to set up our, our accuracy buffs the way we need to. If we can avoid getting hit, then that might actually be worth getting because then we would be able to set up and then pop out of that with some really, really tough hits. So that's kind of what I'm going to take a look at and uh, we'll, we'll see about that in the next fight tomorrow. But for now, we're going to do some training. We'll check out one of the new mini games, and... Um, and then I probably will continue training accuracy. We're at 349 accuracy. We definitely need to boost our uh, defensive stats as well, defense and de dexterity. And it would not be bad to get more health and stamina too. So let's go see what the new game is. Oh, this actually does dexterity and defense. That works out perfectly. This is one of the new ones. We'll go ahead and try this one. We will help him train and see what we got to do. Sheep have gotten out, herd him back into the pen, move with the arrow or AD keys. Okay, seems simple enough. How do we... <laughs> Oh, they run away from us. They run away from us. Okay. Do they? Do they? Yes. There we go. There we go. Um, does that? That scares them. Okay. There we go. Oh, no. Um, not 100% how this works. Okay, we gotta outrun them. We gotta outrun them. We gotta get them back in. I think they run away from us is, I think, what the, what the trick is here. Like, there we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, nice. Nice. And we gained respect for that. That's not too hard. That's not too hard. All right. So that's the um, that's one of the new games. And then let's go see. I think because we have accuracy training, I don't think there's any new games on this side aside from that. We got this one. Yeah, and then we're into the woods to get back to town. Okay. So yeah, we'll go ahead and just do some accuracy training. And then we'll get Phantom back off to bed. All right, it is Tuesday. We're going to go ahead and we will uh, compete against Fathead in this, uh, what a name, uh, against um, Fathead in that battle. But I do want to see what this uh, what this message is. Here's your monthly fish loot box. Every box is a fresh fishy feast. Okay, um, nice. Did we, I assume we got food in our inventory. Is that fish for Phantom? Oh, yeah, he's, uh, he's fine. Let's see what that was, though. See what, uh, did we get fish? If we go feed, we do. Okay, it's garden variety dragon food. All right, how is he doing on everything? Um, he's not that hungry right now, so we're not going to feed him with that right now. We'll go ahead, we'll just put on his, we'll, 
I don't think I don't think there's any reason to use the default saddle actually. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't necessarily detract during your your uh, battles. But we'll we'll see we'll see we're gonna go ahead and get them cleaned up then we'll get them off to uh, off to combat and see I want to test some things too I want to test out hidden all right here we go so we won't earn any fame or any stars for this but we will get two thousand gold and we will get to uh, to try things out and, and try out some tactics so the first thing I want to do the first move I want to make wait no not that I want to use my attacks I want to see so we have take aim but the one that I'm looking for is hide so you dive into a cloud bank to avoid sight I just want to see what that does so we're now hidden I'm guessing he can't target us but I'm guessing if we move then that goes away so I'm gonna stay where I'm at I want to see how long it lasts and he doesn't look like he can do too much so if I do attack I then go to take aim does that oh I'm not hidden anymore huh does it am I Cannot be, cannot be targeted by enemy, lose one stack per turn. Oh, okay. So I wonder how many stacks the, um, the, the, the saddle gives you. Because if we end our turn, I think we're hidden for one more time. Alright, he wasn't able to target us. But, I think, okay, so how, how much stamina does that actually take, though? Uh, because take aim is only 10, uh, 10%. Um. Hide takes 18%, so we can't keep, really keep doing that, but we can try. So, okay, if we do this, we do this, we end our, end our turn, so we're hidden for one. And then the problem is this is giving him the chance to boost up his, uh, his, his stat a lot. So I don't think we need to keep doing this necessarily with this guy, and in fact I'm probably going to move out into the open now that he's ahead of us. We can use this to get around a dragon that won't move where we want him to, actually, I just realized. But we will move out of here... Oh, we, we remain hidden even if we move. Huh. Okay, then. That's good to know. That's actually really good to know. All right, we're going to keep buffing a little bit more because he definitely has more um, more health than us, and so we want to make sure we're up at three stacks. I'm going to continue with our normal strategy, and we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. This guy's actually hurting us quite a lot. Um, I want to see some fire breath. Does a lot of damage there, at least. See, um, you know, I bet we could use hidden to keep um, to keep from getting targeted here too. Now the question is, if we attack, if we use fire breath, does that remove hidden, or we still have that for a turn? Do we? Oh, we still have it. Okay, so hidden is actually pretty powerful. There wasn't a lot he could do about that. We use this one. But we should still have enough to be able to do this too. We'll finish him off for sure on the next turn. Alright. As long as he doesn't finish us. No, he didn't. He did he's gonna strength he's gonna strength buff us, but we should still have enough to just use fire breath. And then we can take him down. Yep, there he goes. We got our 2,000 gold. And, yeah, I definitely want to get that saddle and test that out and see how that works, because I think that could be very helpful. But I'm going to keep training up Phantom's accuracy a little bit, and then uh, we'll go ahead and, and wait for another saddle sale to check that out. Let's see how Phantom does with the fish. So we have, uh, he's got a little, he's a little low on happiness, a little low on food, so we'll go ahead and we'll feed him a fish. Have we given him fish before? We'll see. That raised food, but not happiness. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. I think we already must have pet him today, so let's go ahead and we'll also give him a mushroom. And that should get both stats up pretty high. And then we'll get him off to bed. Looks like we have mail once again. If we look here, we don't have any battles today, I don't think. Nope, it would be the higher ranked one versus Hardy, and I don't think we're going to be equipped to handle that. So we're just going to keep training and check out some of the new games and uh, see how that goes. But let's also see what our, our thing is. I hope it's not a, a saddle sale because I don't think we can actually afford one yet. Construction. Okay, we don't need to worry too much about that. The good news is the sales seem to occur with pretty decent frequency, so we don't need to probably be too concerned. But I'm going to go ahead and we'll check out one of the other day or one of the other games today and uh, see see what some of the new training is. Okay, this is another one of the new games, I think, Strength and Accuracy, so let's go ahead and we'll check it out, see what this one is like. An icon will be shown on the left side of the screen. Similar icons will fall down the nearby column. Left click when the indicated icon is next to the arrow. Okay. 
right, let's see. Oh, I see. All right, well, there we go. And he's gonna, it looks like he's chipping away at that stone there. That's pretty cool. There we go. Uh, oh, I missed that. Hopefully that doesn't deduct from us. Uh, I think he's, he's figuring it out. He's figuring it out. Nice, all right. We're getting there, we're getting there. All right, there we go. used to it. Alright, just gotta wait for the right one. Sometimes that can be a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I'm liking this one. This is fun. They're all, they're all pretty fun, but yeah, I'm like, I'm enjoying this one too. So, okay, you only get 100, oh, you get 200 gold for it, one respect, and we got 12 strength and 12 accuracy. Oh, that's a good one! This is actually a really good one to train both. Alright, we're gonna continue. Oh, and this is, I assume, no, that's... Is this... Dexterity, what is... Have we done this one? Have we done this one? Oh, yeah, this is the flying one. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind raising Dexterity, I just couldn't remember which one this was. And I do think it may be that the uh, double games uh, drop your energy less, which is kind of good. Uh, it can be kind of helpful, but you do learn... Or you do earn less money for them as a whole, because you only earn 200 combined. And not, um... And not to, as opposed to doing the two the two separate games, you do 400. So that is kind of the trade-off there, I think. But if we look at Phantom here, his energy is actually not that low. So let's go ahead. We'll give him a mushroom, kind of get his food and his happiness up a bit. And then we're going to go to bed and we'll pick up in the morning. All right. Looks like we've got some more mail here. We'll go ahead and check the calendar. And we have, we'd have a, uh, an E-rank battle, but I don't want to lose the fame for that, so we're just going to keep training. And we have one new game to check out, I think, and we'll see what sale this is. Hopefully this isn't the saddle sale. Okay, it's food once again. we got to keep an eye out for that saddle sale, because I'm pretty sure the one we want will drop down to $500, or $5,000, which would be really, really good to get it then. So let's go ahead, we'll get Phantom set up and ready to go, and I'll see you guys at training. Oh, this is the one I think. Stamina and Accuracy. That's actually probably not a bad one to do because Accuracy is one of the stats we want to train. So let's go ahead and see what this one is. Alright, you can command your dragon to heat the hot spring by holding left mouse, keep the temperature, uh, or keep the hot spring at the right temperature indicated by the thermometer. Okay. Alright, oh, so we just gotta kind of do this and kind of keep it in the proper range. I don't know if that range will actually move or not, or if we just gotta sit here like this for a little bit. This is not, not too hard, not too hard, not, not too bad, not too bad. We gotta try to keep it in the proper range. I'm keeping it as close to the middle of that as possible. I don't know if we have to keep it in here to get it perfect, but uh, we're certainly, certainly keeping it in the range as a whole, it seems like. Now, I don't know how long we gotta do this for. Let's see, there we go. Oh, we did get it perfect. Nice. So that's not not too bad of a game. That one is pretty pretty easy to do, and that gives us accuracy and stamina, which might not be a bad thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and train his accuracy individually as well, and then we'll check in the next morning. It is the day of the tournament, but we're not going to be competing. We're just going to be doing some more training, and maybe if there's a sale, we'll go check that out. But but we'll see. We'll see what happens in the morning. All right, it is Friday once again. It looks like we do have mail. Again, we do have a tournament today, but we don't have enough stars for it, so we're not going to be competing. We are just going to be... You do get a lot of money for them, though, it looks like at this level. You have 15000 Let's go ahead and see. It's foods again, so we're waiting for a saddle sale. And whenever that happens, we're going to go ahead and try to get the, uh, the camo saddle. But for now, we're just going to focus on some more training, I think. And I think I'm going to go try and go back to the um, stamina and accuracy one, because where are we right now with that? I would like to like to be able to get accuracy or um, stamina up as well, I think. And if we check on him, well, let's also feed him. We'll go ahead. We can give him a potato. And I think I'll also give him a mushroom once he's eaten this. And, of course, we'll make sure we pet him. Uh, but here we go. We have mushrooms. He does like that. Now, we are starting to run out of some of these, so we may actually have to take advantage of some of these food sales at some point. Because otherwise... Um, we may have a bit of a hard time, but if we go ahead and check on him, he's up to 400 accuracy, 200 strength, 148 health, 127 stamina, 157 defense, and 146 dexterity. So he is still very much a glass cannon, and we definitely need to train him a lot more before he's going to be ready for the higher level battles, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting a lot closer, and that's good to see. So I'm going to go ahead, we'll get him at, trained up, and then we'll see where he's at at the end of the day, and we'll, uh, we'll head out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
I just realized we have a lot more food than I thought. We, we didn't just get the one fish. We got squid, we got eel, we got sushi, and then that's back to frogs. Okay, so yeah, so squid, eel, and sushi. I, <laughs> I love that. That's a How to Train Your Dragon reference. Very, very, very good reference. Excellent. Top tier. I love it. Uh, but let's see. So he's... We'll, we'll wait to give him one of those new ones. We'll do that in the morning. Uh, we will give him a mushroom for now, but we'll see how he feels about that. I wonder if there are, are any dragons that actually like the eels, or if all of them are going to by default dislike them. It would be kind of interesting. Um, uh, what was it? I think, is it the Typhoon that likes eels? There's, there's one dragon in the How to Train a Dragon universe that likes them, and I cannot remember which one it is off the top of my head. I used, used to know these things. Gosh dang it, I don't know these things anymore. But yeah, let's go ahead and we'll check on Phantom. I guess we already pet him today. So he's finishing off with these stats right here. 148 health, 139 stamina, 205 strength, 415 accuracy, 157 defense, and 146 dexterity. So we're definitely getting better. We're a lot better than we were. We gained about 100 accuracy among some other things, but we definitely have a ways to go and we'll probably spend the next week training and maybe practicing some tactics in the slightly lower tier. Uh, I think it's going to be a bit before we're ready to take on battles in the C rank, so we'll probably spend some time practicing our strategy in the next episode. We're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today, though. I'm going to get back to bed, and uh, we will uh, we'll bid Phantom goodnight here. Oh, he's got one last present for us, and we're going to go ahead and wrap up and end off here for the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.